untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Historic Games video. Today we're taking a look at a Teamer Snow deck titled Flash Freeze, as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, and the deck features 4 copies of Into the North added in the latest anthology expansion, a 2 mana sorcery that lets us search our library for a snow land card and put it onto the battlefield tapped. So Into the North can find any of our snow lands, including Faceless Haven, which can turn into a 4-3 creature with Vigilance, giving us a nice win condition, and it can also find our various dual lands that enter the battlefield tapped, so besides ramping and fixing our mana and potentially finding a threat, Into the North also provides a nice shuffle effect to go with our Brainstorm after we put two unwanted cards on top of our deck. So Into the North offers a ton of utility, and then an extra payoff for playing all these snow lands in our mana base comes in the form of Spirit of the Elder Guard, has four toughness and power equal to the number of other snow permanents we control, that also includes our lands, and when a spirit enters the battlefield we get to search our library for a snow land card, reveal it and put it into our hand, so this can also find our faceless haven if we're looking for additional threats. And then taking a look at the rest of the deck at one mana, we also have the full playset of Frostbite as another incentive to play Snowlands, as it can then deal 3 damage to any creature instead of 2 if we control 3 or more Snowlands. Then of course a full playset of Brainstorm, great with our various shuffle effects like our Into the North Spirit as well as 4 copies of Fabled Passage in the mana base. And then we've got 4 copies of Memory Lapse to counterspell and put it back on the opponent's deck, great if we're ahead on board with our Spirit of the Elder Guard or Faceless Haven beating down. Then we've got our Into the North, as well as four copies of Gross Parallel, which we can play at instant speed, so perfect to keep up alongside our memory lapse. And then we can draw a card and put an extra land onto the battlefield, so also helps us ramp. So we've got eight two-mana ramp cards to potentially play a turn three, Spirit of the Elder Guard. And then the big finish in this deck is the Torrential Gearhulk plus Magma Opus combo. Magma Opus we can discard for two mana, making a treasure token, which will also help us ramp into potentially a turn four or turn five Torrential Gearhulk. And then Torrential Gearhulk, a 6 mana 5 6 artifact creature construct with flash, so we can play it at instant speed. And when the Gearhulk enters the battlefield, we may cast a target instant card from our graveyard without paying its mana cost and then exile it afterwards. So by discarding our Magma Opus, not only are we ramping into Torrential Gearhulk, but it also puts a powerful instant in the graveyard to replay with our Gearhulk. And then Magma Opus deals 4 damage divided as we choose among any number of targets. We can tap 2 target permanents, create a 4 4 blue and red elemental creature token and we get to draw two cards, so a very powerful instant to replay with our Gearhulk, or potentially to ramp into with our various ramp cards. And then we also have a one-off copy of Sublime Epiphany, which is also great alongside our Torrential Gearhulk, a six-mana instant that can choose one or more between countering a spell, countering target activated or triggered ability, returning target to non-land permanent to its owner's hand, creating a token that's a copy of target creature we control, and target player draws a card. So this is awesome if we can copy a Torrential Gearhulk, because then the copy of Gearhulk can also replay Sublime Epiphany, giving us a ton of value. And then going over the mana base, we've got our two copies of Faceless Haven, despite being a three-color deck, just because it's such a powerful tool to find with our Spirit of the Elder Guard and Into the North. Then we've got our four copies of Fabled Passage for mana fixing and providing a shuffle effect for Brainstorm one of each dual land to search with Into the North, and then seven snow-covered forests, seven snow-covered islands, and four snow-covered mountains. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. All right, we're on the play with an acceptable hand, since Brainstorm is pretty likely to find us green mana. I might wait a turn to cast a Brainstorm. All right, Sarah Sennon, so a life gain deck. Do I cast Brainstorm now? Let's wait. All right, and then probably fine to cast it end of turn. Could main phase it in case we find Fabled Passage. That's also an option. And we might draw into a tap land. Right, there's my green. If I cast into the north next turn, we can shuffle one card away. Yeah, I guess we don't really need Growth Spiral. Or I can put one Spirit of the Elder Guard back. To then shuffle away. Another Saracendence. And a Healer's Hawk. Don't have enough green to go Spiral into, into the north. So we'll just north instead. And get maybe a green red land here. 
and get the Haven online. Alright, so next room we can put a big creature in play with Spirits. Third Ascendants and a Vanguard. So our opponent's close to turning on all three Ascendants, which is going to be difficult to beat. Alright, Magma Opus gives us an interesting line as well. So next turn, opponent goes to 26, attacks with all. And yeah, that threatens to grow all the Ascendants. And there's not much I can do to stop that. I can animate Haven or play Spirit as a blocker. Next turn, I will have enough mana to discard Magma Opus and play Gear Hulk, so probably fine to play Spirit here. Get another Haven. And uh, hope they don't go for the all out attack. Although with Pride Mate, that seems unlikely. Conclave Tribunal is actually good for me, because now the opponent can only gain up to 29 life. So Magma Opus will be able to kill the Ascendants before they get larger. And I'll do this now. One, two, three, four. Could have also done this in the opponent's upkeep. Although you never know if they have any instants that can pump their creatures or gain life. And Johnny. Pretty strong. Opponent stays back. Alright, so... Can kill a Johnny with our Frostbites. But uh, can't really get past the Pride Mates. Could attack a Johnny with both. Finish off the Pride Mate if it blocks. It seems better to me. And we'll send the Haven too. Alright, so a Johnny down. And a Johnny's Pride Mate down. And we can still animate Haven on defense. Vanguard grows Pride Mates, but we can still trade. Could also just eat a Vanguard, which is maybe better. I think we'll double animate Haven here. If I double animate Haven, I can't animate it on defense. So maybe we'll just send uh, the one of them. Keep Fable Passage for Brainstorm. If I enter the north, I can still animate Haven. So it might be worth it. And get another tap land out of here. Happy to trade for the Pride Mate token, which could potentially get larger. Alright, time to top deck another Magma Opus. Could also keep Island in hand, that way if we find Brainstorm we can put that back. And then keep the Passage to Shuffle, or I can play the Passage in case we need one extra mana. And then just hold Islands. Pride Mates. I don't have to Memory Lapse since it doesn't do much on this board. 
and I'm happy to trade for it. Probably hold the falls as well. Bones at 11. Into the north, I guess we'll cast. Wish we had more than two havens now. Opponent still chumping instead of building up three tokens to trade or trading for the pride mate. And uh, yeah, we'll pass. Opponent's at seven. And we can memory lapse their next relevant play. I'll say probably don't want to let resolve. And our opponent packs it in. Sweet. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw. Fine hands. Brainstorm looking for Torrential Gearhulk. And I could brainstorm turn one just because Into the North can shuffle away one of the cards we put back. So still gives us a bit of selection. All right, so against blue reds, one gross spiral can probably go. As we're gonna be out of extra lands to put in play. And then, yeah, we wanna into the north to shuffle. And probably get Faceless Haven going. Could also get a dual lands and then get Faceless Haven with Spirit of the Elder Guard, which is also reasonable. Assuming it resolves. And then I want to get some blue red, I think. Third land, opponent passes. So I don't think this is resolving, but we'll try. Might be a game where we hard cast Magma Opus instead of making a treasure. Alright, Spirit resolves, so it can get Faceless Haven, give us an extra threat. Opponent could be a combo deck slowly assembling their combo. Although Lava Coil deals with the Spirit, that's fine. Still got us a nice 2 for 1. And this probably just play another one. Could even grow Spiral first. And we're getting close to casting Opus. Right, memory Lapse is going to delay the spirit, that's okay. Happy to replay it next turn. Can even attack with Haven and then play Spirits, assuming Haven survives. Into 5 open mana, probably want to take a different approach. So yeah, we'll just play Spirits. And uh, play a land and pass. Another memory lapse, sure. Luckily we had the lands in hand to get up to 8. No need to make a treasure. And then now we can play at instant speed instead of running into more counter spells. Could upkeep, tap two lands down as well. Prismari commands. Dealing two, making a treasure. It's acceptable. I think I upkeep the Opus to tap two lands down. Is 
So our opponent might be a creativity deck. And uh, they're going to use a treasure to maybe cheat a Velomachus into play, who knows. Although Time Warp has been banned. So we'll tap two lands. And see if this resolves. It does. Memory Lamps, good insurance. But I'm gonna opt. Alright, so now we've got a bit of pressure in play. Can start animating Faceless Haven, keep up Memory Lamps. And if we ever find a Gear Hulk, we'll be in great shape. Opponent sacrifices treasure to brainstorm. So it does look like a combo deck, just not sure what the combo finish is going to look like. But memory lamp's probably a good one to have available. Opponent down to 12. Yeah, they're running out of life total. So if I animate Haven... Assuming it doesn't die, I can still play Spirit and memory lamps. Could go with another Magma Opus in their upkeep to deny mana, which I also don't hate, but then we don't keep a memory lapse. So I think I prefer the Haven plan. Hit for eights. And then we can use Haven to play Spirits so that they cannot kill at end of turn somehow. And then Memory Lapse should be good enough to survive the next turn. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine hand. We've got Gear Hulk, so Brainstorm looking for Magma Opus. And there's Magma Opus. Alright, so Elves I would like to kill next turn if possible. So, probably means I need to fetch for... A mountain here. Could also go for green mana so we can grow spiral. Could play islands, brainstorm, but then I wouldn't be able to frostbite. So yeah, I think we just uh, get our mountain here. Turn to harbinger. Could be worth frostbiting as well. Although that's going to require more snow lands. So maybe it is worth it to get a forest after all. And then just hope to find red mana or use the treasure. If that works. So we'll have to take one hit from the Harbinger. Elves staying back. Harbinger finds Olosaur Shepherd. So that's good against our memory lapse. And a Voracious Hydra. Okay. So our opponent getting on the board nicely thanks to the early elf. Second so Brainstorm, Shuffle with Fabled Passage. Frostbite, but then I wouldn't be able to make a treasure, so I probably want to make a treasure and uh, Frostbite here. Take out a Harbinger, and then set up for Gear Hulk next turn. Don't know if I need to play around any pump spells, but probably fine to kill the Harbinger now. Also makes it more difficult to cast the Great Henge. And we'll pass. Ooh, Tosky, I see. Yeah, that's a problem. Opponent keeping back the Shepherd, maybe afraid of a Flash creature to ambush it. So now the question is, do we cast the Gear Hulk before or after the attack? I think I want to tap down some of their stuff as well here. So we'll fetch. Ok, 
cast Magma Opus. And then kill Shepherd. And probably Elves over Hydra. So we'll deal two to their face. And then tap two lands as well. That resolves. And that's a massive swing in tempo in this game. And now we have double Gear Hulk plus Memory Lapse. So that's gonna make it real difficult for the opponent to come back in this game. Tosky forced to attack. Into the north could grab Faceless Haven. Gear Hulk can also replay Frostbite, so. Yeah, I think we put the pedal to the metal here. Ceratops cannot be countered and does have protection from blue, so we cannot block it with Gear Hulk. So that's a good one. Cage means I will have to Gear Hulk first. And it's probably a Frostbite still. And our opponent concedes, can take out Hydra. Ceratops could play defense, but they're still facing a pretty large army with Toski forced to attack. And we should be able to take over here. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. Hand is pretty good against any creature deck with triple frostbite. Could suffer against anything more mid rangey or combo, but we'll try it. And then we'll need to draw into maybe a Spirit of the Elder Guard to provide a bit of pressure. Island into Terramander. Now I only have a single red, so I can't easily double spell if they have like Cure Obsession plus a way to protect the Terramander, but I'll take the one for now. And then probably gonna kill it end of turn. Right, points go to Spell Pierce, sure. Now we have Frostbite with Memory Lapse back up. Brainstorm's fine. So yeah, we're just looking for maybe a Faceless Haven into the north for Faceless Haven also works. To start applying a bit of pressure while we answer the opponent's first couple creatures. I'll take the one. And then probably Frostbite out of turn again. Deals three damage now. That one resolves. So we're not gonna die anytime soon. Brazen Borrower we can send packing. Could also frostbite it, but seems fine to counter a three mana play. Another Termander resolves. There's my Into the North. Let's see if there's a response here. I doubt our opponent counters this, but you never know. Get Haven. And then if they flash in Brazen Borrower, we can Memory Lapse and then Frostbite. Don't know if we need to Frostbite the Terramander quite yet since they can't adapt it. So I'll probably take the hits. Brazen Borrower cannot bounce Haven because it's a land. Brainstorm resolves. There's a land. Another Haven is excellent. So let's start beating down. Our opponent's got an Unsummon instead. So 
that resolves. Replay it. And then it might be worth it to kill the Terramander before the untap. Uh, Lofty Denial counters it. So now they can adapt. They do not. Magma Opus is pretty strong. One mana away from casting that one. So we'll animate Haven. And then uh, opponent's probably going to have a Brazen Borrower here. So now they can adapt Terramander, hit us for 8, that's the 2-turn clock. Opponent contend just dealing 4. And there's a land, so we can punish them if they adapt Terramander. And hopefully there's no other counter spell here. And our opponent concedes. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a fine opening hand. Probably okay to fetch Mountain, turn one. And then turn two into the north, into a spirit. And into the north could grab a faceless haven already. Opponent with a Temple of Epiphany. We drew Faceless Haven. I think I'm still fine getting another one. And then Spirit can get another island. Opponent foretells a card. So we've got our threat in play. Two counter spells as backup, we'll see. Chart of course. Is this a reanimator deck? Just discards another chart of course. Could animate Faceless Haven and still have Memory Lamps backup. Seems good. Hit for 9, so this is a pretty quick clock. So these are the types of games where if you're on the play, you've got some ramp, you can be off to a quick start and make it very difficult for combo decks, especially if you've got some counterspell backup. Opponent passes. Now that the opponent has 4 mana up, we're not going to be able to kill the opponent this turn, so maybe it's better to keep up my mana for double memory lapse, and then next turn we can activate Faceless Haven if needed. Yeah, we'll take a slower approach. Getting pretty close to Magma Opus as well. So our opponent's at 5. And they've got to do something. They didn't spend any mana that turn. Dual strike. Think we let that resolve. And then if they play something like Iron Crank Feats, I can counter both the feat and the copy. So they can't do any storm shenanigans. So your opponent might have been able to combo off with the Dragon Storm. But now they're just at to Spirits and Haven. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Reasonable hand. Can probably play Rhymewood Falls and then turn two, maybe. Brainstorm plus Fable Passage. Bloodlust Insider. Okay. 
opponent trying to give something haste. Not sure what that something is going to be. But they've got two of them. Frostbite could be useful. So we have a few options. I could brainstorm Fable Passage for a mountain. I could just cast into the north. I can make a treasure. Um, we're looking for a Gear Hulk with Brainstorm. So that's potentially something we can look for. Although I'm still going to need extra mana from into the north. So for now, maybe just ramp and postpone our decision. Could get Faceless Haven or we could get a Red Source. But Fable Passage can get that as well. So I like getting a Haven just so we have one. Three mana and a Blood Rage Brawler. So that's going to hit us for five total. But Frostbite will be able to deal with the Brawler as soon as we get a Mountain. And Archfiend's Vessel. Okay. Put on Discarded Exemplar of Strength. Good combo with Archfiend's Vessel if they can reanimate it. So our opponent might be playing something like Call of the Death Dweller to reanimate their creatures too here. Alright, so step one. Probably Brainstorm. And then get rid of some lands we don't need. And then I could fetch for either blue or green so we can spiral put the mountain in and still frostbite. So we'll go with an extra blue source, I guess. And then I don't have to do that now, I can just pass. See what else the opponent does. There's green mana for Voltaic Brawler. Uh, they probably misclicked there. And we'll let them attack. And Gear Hulk is going to be great. Take five. So I don't have the mana to Magma Opus and Gear Hulk, but the Gear Hulk by itself should be good enough. And then we're pretty close to just casting Magma Opus naturally. Belt Collector resolves. And then probably go with Frostbites. Although we could have also gone with Gross Spiral to maybe make it more likely that we can hard cast Magma Opus. So yeah, Teamer, Snow, Flash Freeze, pretty sweet deck that can play a lot of different roles. It can be the Aggressor with a quick ramp start backed up by counter spells. It can play a longer game, it has explosive combo turns with Magma Opus and Gear Hulk. Sometimes you can draw the wrong half of your deck, but Brainstorm can improve our consistency in that regard. So a nice way to build around into the north in Historic. So that'll do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.